Joe, what do you think of AJ, the streak he's been on, and then obviously it looked like continuing it today? Yeah, I thought AJ uh, was excellent today. He battled out some innings early, the second and the third, and, and then he got on a roll and, um, you know, gave us seven great innings today. And, you know, he's just passing the baton, and they just, you know, the starters are building off of each other, and it's great. Swisher described his afternoon as, as rough, but it had some redemption in it, didn't it? It did. You know, the, the one he missed, he just missed it. I mean, you don't see it happen very often. He just missed it. And then he made some really fine plays out there. Um, had some RBIs for us. I mean, he, he had a nice afternoon. He just had one he missed. Joe, as, as much as you say you have to get Bruni going, I know he hadn't pitched since, I mm -hmm. believe, July 10th. But what did you see there? It's the best stuff we've seen since he's come back. Um, I know he gave up the two home runs. You know, you don't always look at results. You look at the stuff, and the stuff was much better today, and it's really something to build on. Back. Joe, assuming you're in this game for many years to come, do you think you'll be able to tell future kids who come up and struggle to look at someone like Phil Hughes, the way he not only had early success, then really struggled and has been able to kind of resuscitate himself to such a degree to point to him and, and, and say this is, this is the way you... You know, yeah. do it. Probably more important, Phil Hughes might be able to tell people. And, and sometimes it means more coming from a player who's been through it than necessarily a manager telling you, oh, you know, I had this guy. And, um, so bless you. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he is an example that this game is not easy. It, it, it doesn't – you don't just come up and take it by storm usually. You're going to go through some struggles. And he's probably going to struggle again just like anyone else on our club has. I mean, we saw A-Rod struggle. It, it's part of the game, and it's what you do in those struggles and how you get out of them. Joe, two things. Following on what you just said about Bruni, is it hard to convince him that this is something good to build on when he has an out and like that and leaves after you know getting only two outs and giving up two home runs? Well, we're really not going to know that until he goes back out there. Um, but I'm definitely going to talk to him about it. I saw something today. Um, it was the best his fastball was since he's come back. It was the best slider he's thrown since he's been back. So... Uh, it's something that I'm going to talk to him about, and we'll have to wait and see until he goes out there. And on, on AJ, he's seven and two, I think, in his last ten starts, and ERA just over two. Do you find he's getting in a big groove here? And more importantly, you talked before the game about gutting through a start. Is that what you saw out there today? I, I thought he did, because um, he got in trouble in the second and the third innings and found ways to get out of it. Uh, and I do see him getting better. And you, you look at his numbers last year, and his numbers last year in the second half were much better than the first half.